previously we collected most of our team and we have the ship we're back in Endor now because I was playing in the casino a little bit in between sessions one thing I haven't shown off yet is the price here in the final chapter One coin only costs 20 gold pieces. So if I wanted to say pick up 500 coins, it's only 10,000 gold. It's pretty affordable that by the by end game when you're no longer purchasing anything and your money is just kind of being thrown away, you could have easily afford to just buy a meteorite armband. Now I have a few I have a few coin. I'd like to say that I did the poke I went ahead and did the poker rounds like I said I would. Sadly I did not. This is where I did it. This is something you could easily do while watching TV, which is what I did. And I discovered something that I've never I don't use playing through this with the AI controlling every character but the hero. I don't usually use Taloon in the uh, in this early stages of the game, where you where you would be in the casino, or I just usually didn't use the casino, or the definitely used the Coliseum. I'm just gonna look through, kind of like the first fight, but. I'll take three. I'll take three times odds. What I what I was doing, and I discovered with Taloon, is that Taloon is a dirty little cheater. Taloon has an ability that when a, when an enemy casts a spell in battle, Taloon has a chance of using of uh, covering his mouth and stopping the spell from going off. I did not know that that took effect here in the Coliseum. Alright. So, there was a chance when that Scizor Mage used Blaze that Tulum would have just cancelled it out. So here, at 50 coins, I won 150. At the beginning, I was going ahead and going out, saving, coming back, taking up the 150. Once I actually had coins to spend, I went ahead and just doubled or nothing it. Not really double or nothing, you're just taking the 150 and you're placing that on the next bet. And I've gotten lucky a few times, where I ended up getting five or six thousand at a time. Oh no, my spells. Oh, these guys can cast us around though. That'd been useful. Oh, your spells are... and don't do that. Uh, he may have had it if he didn't do that. And you... and easy come, easy go. So that's that's how I went ahead and got all those casino coins. Not gonna take advantage of them just yet. I definitely feel like they're more endgame. Or if we run into a stopping point. Party I've chosen... Really simple. I, these four just happen to be the lowest level of the whole party. 14, 13, 12, 11. Compared to the other three. So I'm just going to get them up to level. Because I, now since I, can, since I can control everyone, I'd like to use everyone. Now our next, we're told, is that we can, we go west from Mintos, we'll reach Kelion. Where Ragnar is. If you're not confused with this Ragnar, we mean Aura Ragnar. Aura Ragnar? Yes. But we have the ship. We can go absolutely anywhere. 
but it wouldn't be a bad idea to get the get the crew back together before shoving off. And I remembered something in Mintos that I did not pick up. Here next to the well in Mintos, I can find another gold medal. Gold medal? Wall medal. Maybe they're made of gold. I don't know. I also swung back to Endor to pick up a hat for Bray and a scale shield, because they just didn't sell anything weak enough for him here. Okay. There are encounters on the ocean. The same enemies you find in the ocean you could find anywhere in the ocean. Although I believe some encounter tables have them more... Some enemies more frequently in one place than another. And I picked up a Morning Star for Nara. Ah, uh, Bray still has his dagger. That's good. For just that purpose. Some enemies in the, some enemies in the ocean are far more dangerous than others. So we're, we'll head west, and then we'll start doing the... we'll start exploring more. To get an idea of what's going on here. So Ragnar is here somewhere. Not trouble, we just want our butt. we just want our... like the last guy. We have the Thief's Key, but it's just not quite enough for these doors. It's Healy, from the beginning. Okay, so up north... Avil, fine. Information. Did we keep the Lamp of Darkness? Doesn't look like it. Sir... Okay, that was worth waiting for. can't open these doors yet, either. Lena with her iron claw, golden beret, and a fur coat. That must be quite the sight.
Grandpa's over by the water again. Maybe back in Grandpa's day, the Coliseum was just for people. Alchemists did live down there. I guess you don't sell weapons anymore. Alright, let's head south to Kiev. Kiev's. Kiev. Uh, we'll leave the boat here for now. There's a magic key hidden somewhere that we missed. And if you have Nara or Mara in your party, you get to rest here for free. And this guy has some pretty good stuff. Very expensive. Like, I didn't need to do any shopping in Mintos at all. I could have just come straight to this guy. Pick up one battle axe. Actually, before equipping the Book of Evasion on Alina, let's see how it fares against the Robus Serenity. A little worse, but it does give you an evasion bonus. And Bray gets it. We're using Bray right now, so... Actually, when you have an item like this, you could give it to Taloon. Have Taloon appraise it. So Bray, Nara, Alina, and Christo can all wear the Robus Ray. And then Taloon can as well. And for whatever reason, they rank it. They rank it very highly. Like it's worth a lot of cash. It's a little better than half plate armor. Alright, sell my full face mask. Pick up another cloak of evasion. I know I, we just bought her a fur coat, like, a few minutes ago. Thank you. 
Now, what we what do we come here for? Right. A magic key. Orin had one. Hmm. But Orin... Things didn't work out too well for him. This guy stay consistent. Hey, dog. Secret lab. Secret lab in the western cave. Orin had the key. That's supposed to be enough to give you the clues you need to find secret lab. It really isn't, but... We'll adventure game this place hard enough and we'll find it. This is one of the few caves where the entire wagon gets to come with us into it, which means everyone gets experience. When the wagon's not there, everyone doesn't get to get it. Have experience. The bo okay, here we go. The bottom of a treasure chest. Orin had it, so we want to head back to where we found Orin and search that treasure chest. That's how all these clues come together. And if you recall, that was the chest where we found the Lamp of Darkness. That the game seems to have taken from us. Or Mara has it. Learned a lot from that fight, huh, Ragnar and Christo? So the spell Nara knows, Numb Off, that also heals Paralysis. So now we never need to buy a Full Moon Herb unless there are enemies that really like to use Paralysis, and Nara gets paralyzed. Because par par uh, Paralysis even persists outside of battle.
the encounter right here is pretty gross. But we need the we want the numbers. We need the numbers. We're coming up on the first major blocking point of the of the real game. Alien, who wiped us out the who wiped us out very quickly the first time we saw him with Nara and Mara. He's no joke. He's beatable this time, but still he's tough. Chaos casts Confuse on an enemy. 600 gold pieces for that. Alright. Alright, so here's where we found Orin. Here's where we found the Lamp of Darkness. There's a button here. Since we have the Thief's Key, we can get through this door. What that does is it stops you from being able to get into here before getting Alina and Christo and Bray. Now we have the magic key. We now get in through all magic doors. And we've seen quite a few of those throughout the game. Oh, we also found a small metal, kind of glazed up over that. We need the number, so I'm just going to walk out of here. Get it together, Saloon. So Bray has learned speed up, raises the agility of the entire party. The higher your agility, the higher the chance you, of your critical hits, the faster you'll go during battle. It's not a terrible buff, although not as useful as it could be. I suspect I'll use it here and there, maybe during boss fights.
Alright, and the hero has learned sleep more. Puts an enemy to sleep with a puts one enemy to sleep with a good chance of that working if they're vulnerable to it. All of a sudden, the encounter rate just takes mercy on me. Power has learned to heal more. Excellent. Let's her keep up more with the pack. Alright, while we're on this side of the continent, let's go ahead and head south and on Barava and see how things are going there. So taking over the dancing is Pannon. So we'll see what that guy's got to offer. Nothing new here. Which you can elaborate on. There's nothing new here. Let's wait till nightfall.
So the Phantom Messenger casts Beat. What Beat does is it has a it has a chance of causing instant death. Which is a real jerk attack in a game that makes recovery from death very difficult. We'll check out the there. Let's just check out the bar first. Or the eatery. Rocky Mountainous Island. No, I didn't notice anyone. Oh. We should steer clearer there then. Let's check out the show. Chippendale show? No. Ah, it's a comedian. He doesn't mind us getting up on stage so we can hear a joke or two. Comedy. We did not get a chance to, we did not come back to here at night. If there's any new gossip. Is this a magic door? No, it's a jail door. Now I know there were some magic doors here in Endor. Just over here to the right, we have a thief store. Could have gotten here earlier, but then we couldn't have gotten past here. The magic door. Wonder how he gets to those chests. Oh, what kind of unique goods? Local evasion, great. Sword edge armor. When someone, an enemy hits you, they take some damage. And the metal babble armor, the gr the best armor in the game. So we're gonna be saving up our money and coming back here fairly often. 
Now, how do we get there? Well, it's a little bit tricky. See, back in the day, they didn't. You didn't. There was no game facts, online walkthroughs. How I found this as a child, I don't recall. Now, sounds the same when you bump into them. But if you go to open here, there's a magic key here. You find this by walking up on either side here and seeing that there is a door here. Then you just thump against it until you find it. Climb, and climb, and climb. And then fall! And there we go. Yeah, Tulum, be stronger. And go ahead and prize the multi edge sword. Danda and Ragna. Ragnar can use it. Now, here's the thing about the multi edge sword. When you use it and when you swing with it, you take some damage. But how good could it be? Well, let's compare it to a Sword of Malice. It's pretty good. And Ragnar's got the health for it. It's cursed, meaning... You can't de-equip it. But we don't want to de-equip it. This is actually one of the cursed weapons I'm quite okay with. Now for whatever reason, I thought that the game would warn me. I thought Tulun's appraisal would warn me of curses. To remove curses, when I find a better weapon for Ragnar, you have to go to a house of healing. Alright, let's see what's next on the list. Let's go ahead and make sure we're doing... 15, 15, 14, 13. Nope, still the, still the four lowest. And no, didn't have any doors. Cone Ember. A port place. We haven't been back here since the ship left. Is there anything different in the pl in its place? Just curious. Or does our ship just chill out here? Oh, neither. That's nice. Mintos had no doors. Soretta was where we got the Padequia, Padequia seed, Padequia seed, root, Kilian Habil Mabrava. I 
I remember a place where there were some doors. Now we are biding some time, getting some levels, because Kilion is ridiculous for this point in the game. There's a shrine here. Let's check it out. That's a lot of jail cell doors. The rundown shrine with a lot of jail cell doors. Oh. Then you think to yourself, are they trying to keep someone out, or are they trying to keep something in? Maybe these guys. We could be in trouble. Saloon, now's not the time. So we'll want to come back here much, much later. This gives me an opportunity to check something. I want to just dump off all my money in the vault. In the original game, if a, your party's white while well, you have the wagon, then all the other party members come jumping out. This is an ocean enemy? Sure. Okay, everyone does still do that. Good to know. Whoops. Did it again. So used to the, five, the fourth character being a mate, being a wizard, of some sort. Let's pay attention this time. Ragnar has 148. Oh, I guess the multi-edged sword does not do damage to you. It's just cursed. Let's read into that because I thought this was the. This was the sword. This was the weapon that hurt you. Nice of that guy to have a cursed weapon in his shop. to Endor, pick up our money, revive our fallen comrades.
but handsome creatures. Now I'm not noticing a downside to the, to the uh, multi-edged sword. Maybe only if the enemy lives through the attack? Reading our documentation says 25% of the damage back to you. All documentation agrees that the sword hurts the user when they when they swing it. Just didn't happen. Okay.
So there were magic doors over at Santim. Where Alina and Krista were from. And we know that this just took them right across the board. Wonder, is the bazaar still here? No, the other guy said it was over. into that tower. Anything new here? No. Anything new here? No. But there was a door here from long, long, long ago that we couldn't get through. And now we can! Hey, how's it going? pick up a poison needle for Bray if we wanted, but Mara's already holding one, so when we collect her, she should still be holding it so we can give that to Bray. Everything else we've seen here, except for the Staff of Force. Not positive about that. Could just be a good weapon for a wizard. Could even do things in battle. But we're saving our money for that Metal Babble Arm. I think we saw that in the backyard here. Memory is serving. Um, there's actually one more thing to do in Endor once we have some cash. Well, you don't need cash to do it, but I'm not going to head back there just yet. Northern Sea. Well, where's the map? Yep, that would be straight north. The little aisle there. We'll check that out. But first, we want to save. A staff of force doesn't do anything in battle, but it uses 3 MP every time you strike. So, not great. 
just like they said, monsters have inhabited this place. But there was a magic door. Right. Oh. Here. Because I can't get that just yet. I think Balzac is here. We could go pay him a visit, but we are not ready for him yet. So we'll keep that door in mind for later. And they said head north to Stancia, so let's do that. This wouldn't be a problem in the original game, because then you could just toss people in the wagon, let them sleep it off in there, have others jump out to help. That's a bit of a challenge here. Everyone only only jump out if the whole party is wiped. The one time the Robust Serenity would have been helpful. Oh, Nara was wearing it. So she would have had increased defense while napping. Right, we might be there. And first time we come here, it'd be nice to be during the day.
hit hard. There we go. See, that's the, that's what Taloon does during the Coliseum fights. I believe everyone in the wagon gets the same amount of experience people not in the wagon. You really don't have to use people that are underleveled if leveling on the world map here. I feel like you should. I could. I am. And I'm just waiting for daybreak anyway. But most places have an inn. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Still not quite the 15,000. We might get it just from meandering about. A scent pouch does use a scent pouch, and you'll you'll get into more encounters. That's exactly what everybody wants. More fights. Sacred robe. Improvement for wizards. Dragon mail. But the dragon mail is. Supposed to do It's supposed to reduce the damage from dragon breath attacks. Like that like those guys who nearly wiped us in the shrine south of Endor. Well, it's, pr it's pretty good. Guess he's only awake dur awake at night. House of healing in here, and we'll drop a save here. In case we need this, yeah, just in case. They also have a pub. I like the aesthetics of this little town. This is how I'd imagine Venice would have turned out in an RPG. Another small metal. We are getting quite a few of these. 
Oops, sorry. There's a weapon shop flipping on the water. I like that. Nothing new here. Whoever makes the king laugh heartily will receive any reward they desire. Ah, I wonder if we know any good jokes. Jokes? Well, that reminds me. There's a joke man in Mambaraba. Well, if we don't know any good jokes, maybe he does. Master of Dragons in the sky. Another small metal. I don't know, this castle seems pretty secure. I mean, this much of a pain to just get to the... Yeah, we met Panin. Just to get to the throne room ourselves. Obtain the Zenithian armor, helmet, shield, and sword. It will allow you into Zenithia. This place has the helmet. Oh, if we make the king laugh, he'll give us the helmet. Nice. I don't want to think about penguins falling down. Nathan's shield was at Burland. That's where Ragnar's from. Oh no. Well, we know it. We know a funny man. Let's go get a funny man.
the rules on using return indoors isn't as strict when you're in a town. Yeah. All right, more party members. Now, Panin actually is a guest party member. And instead of Panin, we get Orin. Orin, we have your key! Orin is quite beefy. Actually, we want to come at night now. Well, let's give Orin a shot. Or here should behave as Panin for the king, hopefully. He's alright. That's a pretty nice amount of damage. Yeah, we might want to use him, uh, Achillean. Let's do that. Alright, our party for the big boss here will be Orin Ragnar. Alina and the hero. The hero because I want someone who can cast heal more who has some amount of defense. And Danda has quite a bit more than Nara. A bit more than Christo. I chose these party members because Ragnar is just very good right now. Alina has a lot of attack. And with the Cloak of Evasion, she should be harder to hit. And... Christo would be the other choice for Alina for a step in. She's a little beefy right now, and he has heal more and increase. I believe Killian's going to use quite a bit of spells, and I don't or think he's um, vulnerable to anything. So. We know where the door is. We don't need to bother him this time. Ragnar. Nice. 
Orin fits the description. Oh, we didn't check out the House of Prophecy. We'll do that after this. What a man, Ragnar. What am I? Fight me. Let's give it one shot. Okay, so if if Ragnar does not kill an enemy. Then he takes damage. He's beefy. He can handle that. For regular battles, though, that's great. So Orin, with his regular attack, put the big guy to sleep here. Which is interesting, because Orin doesn't normally do that. Hanan does that. Anon is equipped with a Sword of Lethargy, which can put an enemy to sleep. I have free full plate armor. And Keelian drops pretty quick when you throw this much damage at him all at once. Putting him to sleep helps too, because Keelian usually attacks twice per turn. You can use Fire Ball and Fire Bane, I believe. He gave a little bit of experience. Some numbers. Christos learned the spell Beat, he can now attempt to instant kill an enemy. Which, in the original, where you don't control Christo, is all he'll ever want to do. Alright, so she knows sleep more now too. That's good. Okay. Was there anything back here? It's worth checking. Nope. So they were all pretty much under a spell. And once you have the band back together, 
all the band together. Get some new, a new, new mad. Uh, you get some new music, and we can welcome back Aura. Still holding that needle. Oh yeah, so you have the silver tarot cards to give to Nara. She's the fortune teller, she gets those. She's where it she has the lamp of darkness. They're not as good, but she can use them as an item in battle. Or effects. Want to sell that old? Alright, so that's quite a bit for one session. We've... We have quite a few members of our party. Next time, we'll... bring Orin to tell some jokes at Dancia. And we'll take on Balzac and Santim. See you next time.